Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go live. Peace. Hello. Hello, Michaela. Hi. Hey, how you doing? This is Alex Lemon with TheBoxingVoice.com. How are you Hi, doing? Frank. I'm good. How are you? Thanks for having me on. Oh, man, it's our pleasure. Thank you for taking the call. I know it's fight week. Um, for the Boxing Voice family, I am on the line with 2016 U.S. Olympian and the newest addition to top rank, Michaela Mayer, who is uh, taking our call during fight week. I mean, uh, she's fighting Friday, September 22nd, top rank boxing on ESPN. That's your second fight. How excited are you, Michaela? Oh, I'm super excited. I've been wanting to get back in the ring since I stepped out of the ring on August 5th. I mean, it was a quick fight, but I'm used to doing that five, six days in a row, you know, and I was like, I'm ready to go again. So I was lucky enough to be put on the card uh, the next month. So it was great. Excellent. I mean, uh, a quick turnaround for you. It sounds like uh, you're anxious to get back into the ring, uh, get this career going, this uh, awesome career that you got going on. I mean, I've read about your journey. Uh, from Los Angeles to training in Michigan to the multiple national titles to the 2016 Olympics, like I've said. And now, of course, you're with the top-ranked machine. I mean, uh, it's been, what, less than two months? Two fights? And, uh, yeah. Man, everything you just said, it's been such a, a, a journey. So many ups and downs, but to look back at it all now is really amazing. I mean, I had so much fun with Team USA. That was the highlight of my life was – working to make the Olympic team and accomplishing that was amazing. Probably I'll never probably top that accomplishment in my life. Um, Olympics didn't go the way I wanted, but you know what? I'm really happy about where I am right now. Times, all the stars aligned kind of at once and meeting with top ranks, sitting down with Todd, um, Todd DeBuff and signing only a couple weeks later. And now here I am, my second pro fight. It makes me think, like, if the Olympics would have gone my way, maybe I wouldn't be here in this position right now. You know, maybe I would have been with Team USA still going for another Olympics. So everything happened really great. I'm really happy at, like, where I am in my life right now. I'm super happy that I'm with Top Rank, for sure. Best promotion there is. I mean, for sure. I mean, they got you. The good old Bob Arum got you on the Lomachenko Mariaga undercard. Now you're on the Oscar Valdez Gilbert Ramirez undercard. I mean, your career is definitely starting off with a bang. And and what you were saying about the ups and downs, I mean, uh, that's boxing. I mean, uh, that's one of the great things about boxing. I mean, you, if you get knocked down, you get right back up and, and you keep going. So, uh, I mean, yeah, definitely respect and all the respect to you for, uh, you know, representing our country the way you the way you did. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. For sure. And, uh, I mean, now you're training in Stockton, California with Gabriel Flores Sr., and yeah. <laughs> another example of how the stars just kind of aligned because I left Team USA knowing that I was going to have to leave the Olympic Training Center, obviously, and you know, that's where I've been living the last few years. So, but the truth was, when I signed with Top Rank, I didn't really know where I was going to go. I didn't know who I was going to train with. I've always had Al Mitchell in my corner. You know, he's been my coach since the beginning. But right, Coach Al. Way up, yeah, Coach Al, and he's here today. He's just way up in Northern Michigan, and. He knows – he's kind of like the brains of the operation, but I need someone who's going to get in there and work me, you know. Go Tal's had a, a long, very successful coaching career, but he's in, he's in his 70s now. He, he can't push me on the mitts the way I need to be pushed, and he uh, doesn't have a ton of sparring up there in Marquette. So he'll come out here to camps and stuff and work with me. But I needed someone. I needed someone out in Sacramento where I was living. And although I heard there was a ton of boxing in Sacramento, I mean, I just really wasn't happy with the people I was meeting and having conversations with. And I was kind of feeling a little bit like – like shit like what am, can I cuss on here can I cuss yeah you can yeah you can say whatever you want <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like shit you know what am I gonna do and um Gabe Flores they threw his name out there and he was all the way out stocked and I'm like I just need to know one thing I'm like what kind of style does he teach I'm I'm like is he gonna turn me into a brawler or is he gonna keep me boxing and the guy I was talking to was like he's a boxer I'm like all right give me his number I'll hit him up <laughs> 
Right, definitely. I'm Gabriel Flores Senior. I mean, his I, I've uh, I've had the pleasure to to listen to him train, man, and the knowledge he has on the sport is priceless. And and we can see that with uh, his uh, son, Gabriel Flores Junior, the youngest to ever sign with top rank. So uh, for sure, I walked into his gym. I trained him for one day. I'm like, listen, I don't really see myself looking any, anywhere else. If you if you feel like this is something you you'd like to do, if you want to work with me, and you think this is something we can work out, then. I'm ready to fight in a couple of months, and I need a trainer. So what's up? <laughs> right, and so he's all for it. Right, that's great. I mean, for you to be uh, from in Sacramento, I mean, Stotts is not that far. No, it's not that bad. I mean, you gotta do what I gotta do. I'm from LA, so I'm used to sitting in the car for an hour on the way to the gym. Um, it's not obviously what I want to do, but I mean, I gotta train with the best, and he's he's the best out there. So, and I'm really happy that I found him. It's just I feel just really lucky. Definitely. I mean, uh. I know we're all looking forward to to this Friday to seeing you fight. Anybody in that Arizona area needs to go out there and check you out and check out all that action of, of this stacked card. I mean, you got uh, Michael Collin fighting, another Olympian, and, and of course, like I said, Gilbert Ramirez and Oscar Valdez. I mean, uh, yeah, awesome card. And then with you on it, I mean, the, the first lady of top rank? That's right. <laughs> I, uh, I know that, like, um, Back in the day, like way back in the day, Lucia Riker had a couple ranks on, some, had a couple fights on top rank cards and stuff. But I do believe I'm the first female to have a multi-year um, contract with top rank, and the only one as of now. And I know they're looking, hopefully they're looking to sign maybe one or two more. But I think I'm testing the waters with me to see how it goes. But good job, Bob Aram. Right, right. Good job, <laughs> good job to you for breaking that ice for for female boxing too. Because, like you said, Top Rank hasn't had a female fighter for decades that anybody could remember. And and everyone knows your name right now as, okay, she's the first lady of Top Rank, and that's Michaela Mayer. Yeah, so I have a duty. I'm representing a lot of women right now, so I got to – I can't just – I feel like I can't just win my fights. I have to do something extra. All women are turning pro right now. We can't just win our fights. We have to, like, prove to the world that we aren't just – average that we're great that we can put on a big show that we can sell a lot of tickets so i want to i want to put on exciting fights right definitely which you have already so far i mean uh you got, you got to knock out the first round of your first fight yeah so far so good i definitely want to keep it up definitely hey well, thank you for taking our call i know it's fight week um i know you got a busy week i, I saw you had the media the media day um can't wait to see you and uh you have um you want to tell your followers where they can follow you at right now on social media yeah um i'm big on instagram you can find me at michaela mayer uh twitter michaela mayer one uh my fight won't be on tv this time but if you download the espn ESPN app you can stream it live and uh follow me for more updates i hope to fight at least one more time this year so if you can't catch this one there's another one coming definitely can't wait till you are televised but the good thing about the top rank and and the whole deal they have with ESPN is that anybody can go on that ESPN app and watch the entire card. I know it's amazing. I swear, when we first sat down with Todd, he said he, that he was um, they were kind of ending their contract with HBO and he didn't let us know who it was going to be. But my problem with boxing is always I've always said this: um, you can't go to the bar, you can't go to a restaurant, you can't go to Buffalo Wild Wings, whatever, and say, hey, can you turn on the HBO boxing fights? Hey, can you turn on the Showtime boxing fights? They're not going to do it. They don't have it. And that's why MMA, I feel like, has become so popular because it's so accessible to the public. It's so easy to go into a bar and say, hey, can you turn the fights on? Mm -hmm. So the fact that um, Top Rank made this deal with ESPN, I think it's just going to help boxing so much in so many ways because people are going to be able to just, hey, turn on the ESPN boxing fights, boom, right there. Definitely, and I'm glad Top Rank's keeping up with the with the new age that is going on with the with the internet, you know, the apps. Exactly. Yep, they're definitely getting more savvy with the technology and all that. So social media, so it's really good. Right. Hey, thank you for taking our call with the Boxing Voice. Looking forward to seeing you fight, Michaela Mayer. Thank you. We'll talk again soon. All right. Thank all right. you. Have a good day. Bye. No other sight in the game can see the boxing boys.